are sitting here in Thomas Cole's home. And it is also the home of Mariah Cole and about 11 other people. They all lived here in Catskill, New York, where we have a view of the Catskill Mountains here off to my left. And uh, the property used to go all the way to the Hudson River off here to my right. Thomas Cole's life is very interesting because he moved to the United States after having seen the Industrial Revolution in England, and he had his concerns with him. Well, you know, he comes here as a teenager, you know, an older teenager, and um, he's leaving a very um, polluted industrial environment. That's He's growing up in, in an England that's filled with soot and dirt. And in 1825, when he went to New York for the first time and he saw the Catskills, he was so touched and was so moved by the beauty of this land that he created these paintings and really urged people to consider what is being lost with by industry, what is now being transformed through industry. Thomas Cole was a trailblazer. I mean, he, he paved the way for dozens of artists who followed him. History tells us that he created a, a few paintings and he brought them to New York City and they sold right away. And it doesn't take long for other artists to know, notice that that's going on. And there are some very talented artists around. And so this spawns interest. This is an incentive to create landscapes. So Cole gets this American art form started. I think looking at Thomas Cole's collection is important. And it's important because this is one person in this whole landscape and how they saw their environment and also how they wanted other people to see it, right? There's this romanticization of it. There's the religious element of the Second Great Awakening and God's gift, in particular to Americans and to New Yorkers here in this area, the wilderness and manhood. That's all part of it. Uh, over the course of the paintings that we have of his, you can see an evolution. That evolution is um, it's there in his work. That's why I was thinking that if he had lived longer, we really don't know where that would have gone. He never got to a point where he, I felt, I feel he matured as an artist. Um, and maybe that's also part of what was going on with his expressions that somehow seem a bit naive about uh, man's relationship with uh, divinity. Maybe, t maybe time would have changed his thoughts about those things. Cole inspired others. And in the work of the artists that followed him, like Frederick Church, like Asher B. Duran, like Jasper Cropsey, uh, Frederick Kensett, we don't see the same uh, kind of pious uh, storyline, this romantic story that has to do with human tragedy or human experience, but we see the, we see the space, we see the environment, a sunset maybe that we, we felt or that we've, we've been in that, in that environment of that storm. That's not a cold storm. A cold storm is about the hand of God sweeping across the sky. Thomas Cole was an immigrant to this country. He came from England when he was a teenager. And so he brings an immigrant experience but he also just brings the experience of one person. And he was a white man from Europe. Um, I think what we're trying to also show here is that there are a lot of other people that were right here on the ground doing important work that have a different perspective 
and that it was only through looking at the entire household and all of the people working here and Thomas Cole's sisters and um, when you look at the entire diverse population of who was working here, you get a picture of the diverse population that was creating America at that time. Sponsored in part by the Albany Med Health System and by Robert and Doris Fisher-Malisardi.